Happy New Year, everybody. I hope your new year is going to be great. And uh, let's talk a little bit about Assassinate the Mild-Mannered Reporter today. Uh, it's been a while since I've posted about this book. Uh, that is due to me publishing a couple of other books. Uh, so Desperados of Mars is coming out the end of January. Thunderbolt Curse coming out the end of February. And I'm hoping to get another uh, book uh, published after that. It'll be another collection of short stories. So be looking out for that. Uh, anyway, that's why it's been a little while since I've written in this book. So let's jump in and talk about the uh, chapter four. This is primarily, well, at least the beginning is a, a conversation between uh, Knight and his doctor. Uh, she's come around and uh, kind of telling him just how close he was to dying, for one thing. Uh, checking on his uh, vitals and his pain level and things like that. So we see a little bit more about, you know, just the the uh, circumstances in general of, of things. Um, but also it leads us into, you know, the, the doctor is, you know, pleasing in shape and uh as she's walking out the door uh, mr knight can't help but looking at her hiding quarters so that leads to him thinking about you know jabbing the needle into clay kendrick uh, and his hind quarters what the heck happened what caused the needle to bend he didn't notice a wallet or anything like that and it takes him a little while, and he realizes it's because he's on painkillers that it takes him a little while to realize, oh, he's got body armor. And, you know, so this is in part uh, an homage to Batman, what I consider the original Batman, but it's not. It's the Tim Burton Batman movie. Uh, and that's... You know, you've got you see Batman has this whole array of of armors, and that's because he's studying the armor to create his own body armor. And and at one point, you know, he's surrounded by punks trying to shoot him, and 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 they're like, "What has he got on?" And one of the gangsters is like, "Uh, it's some kind of body armor." So uh, that's what I'm alluding to here is that Knight thinks that Kendrick has body armor on. Uh, although he does mention Buns of Steel at one point, and um, the only way those that his buns could be, you know, that perfectly shaped would be as if he's an alien or, or he's got body armor on. Well, actually, it's the alien part that's true, but at this point, you know, so it's kind of a little tongue-in-cheek uh, joke here. Um, well, kind of several set up into one, you know, one little area. But it, as he realizes, oh, it's body armor. That's why the needle bent. That's why it jabbed me. And then he's like, I won't be able to, you know, for one thing, get close to him again for another attempt. But also, I've got to shoot, if I'm going to shoot, uh, you know, a lethal injection into him, I've got to go for exposed skin. But then he's like, ah, but if I can't get close to him, let's just set up with a long-range rifle shot. So that's what we're going to be setting up in Chapter 5 and 6 and you know, a little bit down the road here is uh, uh, the rifle assassination attempt uh, coming up next. And, of course, what goes wrong there. But uh, anyway, if you guys are interested in those other books coming out, Go out to my website. I have a discount going on Des Desperados of Mars in the pre-release right now, and it's going to stay open through the first week of the launch. Uh, it's 99 cents. So by all means, get out there. Get that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy what I'm writing, and uh, we'll be talking soon about more assassination attempts. Later.